What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys how to replace the fly screen mesh on your fly screens. So it's a very, very simple process. I've got my fly screen ready to go. The only tools I'm going to need is a utility knife, a flathead screwdriver and also a spline roller. So as you can tell, this one has been damaged by the sun so it's very, very easy to put holes straight through that. So I'm going to show you guys how to replace it. Let's do this. So the first thing we need to do is just remove the spline from the outside of the fly screen. The spline is just basically a piece of rubber that holds in all the fly screen. So all you do is take your flathead screwdriver, or you can even use a butter knife if you haven't got a flathead screwdriver. You want to just simply pull up that spline, pull it up from one end, and then you'll be able to just pull it out by hand. So once that's done, you can just pull that straight out. So with the old spline we're going to reuse this, the only time you'd actually replace this is if it's very dry and crackly, however this one here seems pretty good for now. So what I like to do is as I've removed it, I just pull it apart and I put it around the frame just like that. Now we can actually start removing the fly screen. So to remove the old fly screen, just simply pull it out by hand nice and easy and that should completely come out. What I like to do is just roll it up, that way any mess that's still left on there will actually stay in there and won't mess up the area around your workplace. Then we can get our new mesh, roll it straight over the frame. And then we can cut off that excess trim straight from here. So making sure you've got a nice sharp blade, run that all the way up. So once we've got the fly screen in position, you can see they've just got a little bit of excess left over just in case the fly screen moves around. What we're going to do is take that spline and we want to just put it straight into that little ridge right here. So this little groove that's cut out in the frame, that's where the spline goes into. So we just want to position it in there like this. That can sit in place. We get our little flathead screwdriver. A bit hard to do with one hand, but all we do is just press in that spline straight into position like that. And now we can use our spline roller and we can roll that straight through. So once we get to the first corner all you want to do is just simply take that around the bend like this, put it into position, use a flathead screwdriver once again and just push in those corners. Once you've got the corner nice and tight, once again with a spline roller and just roll that all the way through. Once again on the next corner we want to use the flathead screwdriver again push that into position, making sure to only push down on the spline and not on the mesh and then we can roll this side here through as well. Once again on the last corner, push that down with a screwdriver and then we're going to run through with our spline roller. So once we get back to where we started, you'll notice there's a bit of overhang now. We've got a bit more material than what we started with, and that's simply because we've re-stretched the spline. So all you need to do, utility knife, and we want to just cut that into position. Cut that excess off, and then we can now push that corner back in with the screwdriver. So now that we've got everything into position, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this excess trim um, that's left off so that I can reuse this for another fly screen. So it doesn't have to be nice and clean here, we're just going to take that excess off. So now we're just left with that excess trim that's all around the spline on the outside of the frame. All we're going to use is a utility knife once again. We're going to cut this hard up against the frame and the spline. So I'll show you guys a better view once I cut this first section. So all the way down just like that, being very careful not to cut the mesh. Now we've got that excess bit off. So once again, to take off the excess, hard up against the frame and the spline. You can see there we're just cutting on the outside of the frame. So run that all the way down. I find if you put a little bit of tension on the uh, fly screen mesh over here, it actually cuts a lot easier and it'll separate as you pull down. So we're just going to work all the way around.
And once we're done guys, that is the finished product. Nice and clean, brand new, fresh fly screen ready to go. So there you have it guys, that's how to remove and reinstall your fly screen mesh. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If there's anything else you guys would like to learn how to do in or around your house, put in the comment section below and I'd be happy to show you guys. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's Out Too.